Howdy, folks. I am in Austin, Texas, and I have found a nice little spillway to fish. Right here, the other side of that spillway dam thing is Lady Bird Lake, I think. And it's just a little lake, little, real little from the map, it looks like. Uh, pulling off the Colorado River, and then we got the dam there spilling out. Not a lot flowing today. Thinking uh, that one looks to be running, and maybe the one next to it, but uh, none of the others I don't think are. But the birds seem into it. And if you want to find the fish, following the birds is a good idea. This here is the Colorado River, and I intend to catch some fish here today. Uh, hopefully, that works out. I don't see a lot of fishing trash around in the area, which is surprising. This seems like a really common spot. So maybe I'm lucky and it's not super pressured, but that seems unrealistic because above me is a big park. So uh, I'm gonna get some lines out and see what happens. As always, start out, throw in a nice shrimp to just hang out on the bottom. Always good to have a tight line out anywhere you're fishing because who knows what the hell is going to happen. I'm going to try to whip it right up into the current up there. Yeah. Eh, good enough. Then I suppose my rod will just hang out down here in this rock. Yeah, it looks stable enough. All right. Tough little spot to really get it tight tight but that should be fine enough and i guess since this is what's the only thing i've got tied on i'll uh throw it around i'm sure i'll get bored eventually and tie a root tail on though here oh my line snagged up on the ship on the wall this is pretty tough am I gonna lose this I've had this lure for years come on yep broke it off well I guess uh, there was ever a time to tie on the rooster tail this would be it There's something. Not a snag. I'm moving it, but there's no fight to it. So I'm gonna guess it's a turtle. Maybe why? Keep getting stripped off and can't catch nothing. Yep, there it is. Turtle. Pretty good sized turtle. Yeah, well, should have been eating my shrimp, buddy. Oh, come here. Ow. A little flipper claws hurt. See if we can get a hook out of them. Oof rough it's right on the outside like i can get a hold of it but it's all the way through the bottom of his jaw they got tough skin he doesn't make it easy hiding his head down in there well at least if he keeps it it's not gonna hurt him too much but i'd like to get it back All right, try to be helpful. You don't want me to be helpful. Enjoy your new piercing, buddy. Go on. 
you go. Well, this pod is just full of turtles. I think it's gonna be a bust. I'm gonna see if I can get to the other side. Well, made it to the other side. I don't know if I'm allowed to park where I'm at. And uh, kind of right next to a homeless camp. So hopefully the reward will be worth the risk. I also think I'm gonna have to get wet once I get down there. That's a sturdy guardrail. E. All right. Yep. Making my way down the rocks. Risk business. Doing dumb stuff. To try and catch a fish. Definitely not good ideas. down here originally I'm gonna try to get over there where the birds are I think I'll start right here hope for the best so I know I don't have to walk through a lot of water so we might have more company don't know Let's see what happens I gotta I gotta retie all my stuff I broke everything off earlier I got something. What did I catch? First fish down here. Oh, no way. No freaking way. So this, even though it's tiny, is a very special type of bass. It's not a large mouth. It's not a spotted. It's not a mean mouth or anything like that. This is a Guadalupe bass. How do I always end up catching new species that are just freaking teeny tiny? So, guads, they've got the little face stripes here. And then their stripes, instead of like a solid stripe, they've got speckles on the top. I don't know how well you can see it on this guy. And then they've kind of got like the spotted patchy pattern down their lateral line. These colors were a lot better when I brought them out of the water, but they're pretty damn sure this is a guad, which is my third new species of the trip. Got something? Yep, got something. Another little tiny fish. This is another little quad, even smaller. Hey, at least I found some. Little bitty guy Get in there. I doubt I'll find one uh, in this pool, but it'd be really nice if I could catch a good sized one. You know, maybe like a half pound at least. There's a fish. Oh, he came off. Probably another little baby quad. You know, cool and all. Uh oh. Got my lure stuck up on the uh, the rock dam. Well, shit. It broke off. Oh well. We're gonna make a move. This spot ain't doing it. And it's full of turtles, too. Ugh. Got a little fish in the pool. Enjoy some shrimp. So I've decided not to get any closer to the dam or further away from the shore. 
or at least the kind combination is uh, reading a warning sign the dam has automatic doors and no sirens and i do not want to be right up on that thing if it opens one of those doors i'm gonna come down away from the dam and uh see what kind of shoreline stuff i can do i'm gonna guess it's all super shallow though we'll try to find something birds are here but the birds are just walking in the water which means it's very shallow well this side of the river sucks coming over here was a mistake i guess i'm gonna go back to the other side looks like there's a gravel bar over there i can walk down to from the park there's all this little sort of pathway around there. We're gonna go back to what we were originally doing. I have made some mistakes. Hopefully, the Jeep is still in one piece. Oops, there's something finally. What do we got here? scarred up but I believe this is your bog standard bluegill come on come on out of there there we go I mean he's a decent little fish nothing amazing okay, I'm catching something finally there's been a rough go of it today Or something. Ah, ooh, you're a nice bluegill. Look at how fat you are. Well, you're not super fat, but you're super wide. It's a good gill. I'll show him off to my friends. You got all the hooks in there, don't you? I don't know, pliers pliers are down on the plier thing I hate when they have all three hooks in it's such a pain to get them out one two There we go. Three. First we got big fish for what that fish was. If we're starting to find sunfish, it gives me hope that we may be on our way to finding something worthwhile well this was a giant disappointment at this little spot but uh there's another one another spillway dam lake thing uh, i think north of here i'm not sure how far north but i'm already in the area i was gonna go go there later today anyway may as well just go now because i've spent way too much time here so uh i'll see you there all right well here we are I am upriver on the Colorado River, below Lake Travis, and below the dam. The dam's just right up the river a bit. I, uh, I tried walking over to it, but it's all restricted. So, stuck here at the park. Got this little bridge here, and uh, seems halfway decent. So, throw out some lines, see if we can catch something. Try to untangle all of our junk. That one came out fairly easy. Let's get us some baits in the 
water. Let's untangle all our stuff here. I really need to take better care of all my gear, I think. All right, got my two poles out. I had to balance one of them up on the table. I apparently lost slash left one of my rod holders down at the Trinity River. So congrats to whoever finds that. Now, gonna just cast around with my little rooster tail. See if anything bites. Oh, I've got a fish. I didn't even notice. I thought maybe I was in some grass. Where are you? You are a largemouth. Well, this is a different type of fish for the day. Yep, a little largemouth bass. I uh, would have liked that bigger, but I guess I'm am using kind of a tiny lure. But hey, at least I got something here. Oh, there's another tiny fish. Like the tiniest fish I've seen in a very long time. You uh, have bigger eyes than your mouth, buddy. Well, maybe not. Well, I think it's important to, uh, to know when to quit. And I don't, because I probably should have like three hours ago. It's, uh, it's around three o'clock now been cloudy windy the fishing's been terrible i haven't caught hardly anything but i did get a new species of fish even though it was only about that big so i guess i can try to call today a success but overall I'm very disappointed and it's supposed to storm all day tomorrow saturday i gotta drive home so i don't know if i'll get to do any more texas fishing but overall Hasn't been stupendous, but I did catch some okay fish. I got three new species total. So I guess, I guess I'm gonna pack up my stuff and head back to the hotel. Got like a three hour drive. That'll be fun. I'll see y'all next time.